local fire officials saying that they have seen an uptick in fires across our area. Now they're asking residents to be very conscientious as those temperatures start to heat up and especially as the 4th of July is approaching. Firefighters say that they are preparing for an active season with record rainfall bringing a lot of brush. Now that brush is drying out, becoming potential fuel for wildfires. Thanks for being with us tonight for Fox 40 News at 10. I'm Eric Harriman. Uh, Nikki has the night off. Fox 40 Zach Boetto talked with those fire officials today, joins us now live to break down more on what they had to say. Zach. Eric, good evening. At least five fires across Sacramento County today, including building fires and grass fires. Those firefighters that I spoke with today say they are seeing a rise in both of these types of fires, due in part to the rise in temperatures and the grass starting to dry out. Plus, we've got these firework stands popping up, and they want to make sure if you are participating in lighting some fireworks this season to do so safely to avoid any more blazes. Fire crews around Sacramento have been plenty busy so far this June, acting quick to stay on top of the increasing threat of fire danger. Our crews are ready and, um, and we are in fire season. Fire season is here for Northern California. On Friday alone, crews responded to this garage fire off Freeport Boulevard in South Sacramento and to this grass fire in Yuba County. Just two of dozens of fires sparked here in June. We had excessive rainfall over the winter months with a lot of new growth of brush and grass, a lot taller, a lot thicker, denser. So with that, we're seeing a little bit more fire conditions. This call for awareness comes as Cal Fire plans to suspend all burn permits for outdoor residential burning within Nevada, Yuba, Placer, and Sierra counties starting Monday at 8 a.m. This also includes a ban on all residential outdoor burning of landscape debris like branches and leaves. Our fuel moistures have already dried out. If you look behind us, we've got yellow grasses. Grass has gone from green to green to yellow. It's primed to burn. Fuel moistures have dropped significantly, and now you couple that with 100 plus degree temperatures, low relative humidity, get the ingredients for some significant fire behavior. With the 4th of July just 11 days away, fire officials say now is the time to read up on firework safety and to make sure you have the necessary items to avoid any disasters. We're going into 100 plus degree temperatures in the next week just before the 4th of July. So we need our community to be diligent. If you're going to be lighting off those fireworks, make sure you're in an area that's nowhere near combustibles, nothing overhead, nowhere near any structures. Make sure you have a plan, have a water supply, have a bucket of water, a metal bucket that you can soak those fireworks in for a full 24 hours. We've had people unfortunately have significant house fires and even fatalities because they haven't been able to properly use and dispose of their fireworks. Eric, back out here live here in South Sacramento. We're already starting to hear some of these fireworks going off at night. Of course, we talk about it every year around the 4th of July. Be smart, be safe if you're going to be lighting off those fireworks this year because, of course, again, it is fire season, and those sparks can start fires very, very easily. Live in Sacramento, covering local news that matters, Zach Boetto, Fox 40 News.